You know, when I'm in a church service, my general goal is to draw as much attention to myself as possible. Not because it's about me or I need anybody to look at me. No, it's because people need to aspire to be as genuinely close to God as I am. And I'm trying to hit 50 friends on Facebook. That would be a good goal for this year. I always tell people, if you start off shouting, you gotta, you gotta find a good back pew. Put your hand right there, give you some support, then you get your footwork in. Start working. You, fall, you start following, Holy Ghost hits you, just grab the back, just grab the back, walk it off. Walk it off. Do a new thing, Lord. Do a new thing in my wife. My ex-wife, God. You know, when you first start out flag waving in the church, safety has to be your number one priority. All right, I've knocked out my share of kids' eyeballs in my day, but my wife was always there. She was a nurse, and she just did surgery in the aisle, and it was fine. Until I got a little bit more, uh, what's the word? Talented? No, it's not talented. Talent's always been there. Experienced. Now I haven't knocked out a single eyeball in six weeks. Busted one kneecap. But, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of that. That's actually never done that before. That's a new one. God, I gotta bring you. I gotta bring it. I gotta bring it. I gotta bring it. I gotta bring it. See, that's why you need the support. Wait, hold on. The support. Is there a medic here? Medic, please. Anybody? Every young hotshot comes up in here and wants to start running on the pews. You know, and you gotta understand, there's an exact science to pew running. You mess up and you tip an old lady off the pew, you're going to an extension campus for at least three months. You don't want that, no one wants that. That's happened to me several times, by the way. It's agony, pain, literally the worst thing since my ex-wife left me. Say that thing, preacher. Preach that thing louder for the people back here in the back, even though we heard you just fine. Just say it louder, say it louder anyway. Hey, uh, somebody tell that person to put their kid in the nursery. They're drawing too much attention to themselves. I bring this tambourine with me every week to church. Not, not, not for me, um, but I do it for the worship team. You know, it really just puts them over the edge. That's the gospel truth. That's, that's in this book right here. Youth group, you better be listening to this. I got this talif and this shofar at our most recent Bible prophecy conference. And I just feel so much closer to God since I got this thing. Oh, it's just great. I blow it every week. I wait till the pastor makes a good point and then I blow it. Everybody loves it. I judge people's relationship with God based solely on the size of their Bibles. All right, you come in here with a tried and true KJV. You're pretty all right. You're going to be invited to the study group. But if I see one more person come in here and look at their phone as their Bible, I will rain the wrath of God down on them. They better just stay in the youth group where they belong. And that's when I told the associate pastor the communion wafers are simply too small. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a, getting a call. Um, might be my ex-wife. I uh, hope so. I hope not. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Patty, did you finally call me back? Oh, it's just CVS. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be there to pick up my prescriptions next week. Prilosec is 40% off. Give me a second. I got to end this interview. I'll be right back. Can, we, can I make sure a copy of this gets sent to my ex-wife? I mean, just her name's Patty. Just, I just want it sent. That's all. I just want her to know that I'm, I'm serving God. I got my life together. And, uh, and that her, her husband she's had for five years, it's not God's will. It's not. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm ready.